What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here. All right, there's some more. Uh, well, I, I mean, this. Uh, tell you what, guys, it's been it's been a weird kind of day. It's been a weird, very weird day. It seems like emotions are running high today. Even mine, where it's just going. I'm just looking at everything on Twitter, and it's just a it's just a shitstorm. It really is, and I'm just face palming and just all kinds of of stuff. Yeah, um, you know, between the Star Wars thing and you got new tech out and you got politics. It's just, it's been nuts. It's really been nuts. And you just kind of go, what the hell? Everybody needs to relax. And then, then all of a sudden, um, somebody told me to check out someone's uh, Twitter. And that is uh, Gabriel, Gr Gabriel Gry? I don't know. They told, they told me to check it out. And apparently... He got some supposed inside information about Justice League and what, what's going on with that. But, of course, we've got to take it with a huge grain of salt. Just because this sounds good, and I've said this before, just because this sounds good and this is what we want to hear, we can't, we can't just go and think, like, oh, this is real. This is really what's going on. Yeah, yeah, be, you know, we can't do that. We can't, okay? we got to take it with a huge grain of salt. Who knows what this guy's sources is. But this is what he had to say. He said, to clarify, catch of uh, Justice League marketing material, unsure on ETA, but it certainly won't be long. The flick releases in just two months, which is very true. I imagine quite a few of the elements will be hot from the render farm. We'll see what Snyder Whedon have up their sleeves, which is excellent. That sounds awesome. Also, I do have other Justice League related scuttlebutt for what it's worth, but giving it a little bit, bit, bit. okay. Uh, oh, it's nothing, blah, blah, blah. He says nothing to freak out. He says, okay, the decision to contain Justice League into more of its own thing wasn't post Snyder. Whedon's moving forward with Snyder's vision, which is always nice to hear. And we, we kind of already knew that already. There was an NDA screening quite a while back. Now I've heard that it went over well. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was unwatchable. But most issues seem to arise during the third act, which that was supposedly what Whedon was more doing. Issues, um, issues Snyder was addressing while his life, while, uh, wait, wait, wait. Issues Snyder, Snyder was addressing while his life turned into turmoil and before he stepped back. Apparently, the third act was a tad confusing and or underwhelming, so decisions were made to amp up the, uh, and to isolate the property for its connecting cousin, but it, uh, but this required work. Schedules and technical issues also hampered AP progress, but from what I hear, very recently, Whedon's work, absolute wonders. We'll see. Now, he's worked absolute wonders. The majority of issues already identified by Snyder post-test was disconnecting the third act and ramping it up, and significantly so. There's that significant. Like, just because, and I've said this before I said on the podcast, I said, significant is a totally different thing. You could just change one little thing that could take like a week worth of shooting, and that could be significant. It's the whole extensive word that I, I have a problem with. So good news, I'm hearing Wonder Woman level enthusiasm now, while rumors over Wonder Woman are were negative in the run-up reminder what I was saying. So I mean, it's not really news. As I say, it's more scuttlebutt. But if, but if it puts some, some at ease, fair enough, we'll all find out when we see it. Okay. And then, of course, somebody was like, oh, yeah, that, you know, that, that oh, was Snyder sidestep. And he said he wasn't sidestep. John's Warner Brothers went above and beyond to help Snyder and his wife through, uh, through you know, of course, their ordeal and everything like that. Which, uh, of course, I, I, have, I believe that part for sure. But like I said, we got to take it with a huge grain of salt. But what was really funny is a certain someone, not the main dude, not Mr. Jet from Batman on Film, went at this guy like just recently and he's a pussy because he deleted all his tweets going after him and it was so ironic because he was just basically saying what everybody is saying about batman on film just a bunch of bs with an with uh, unreliable and anonymous sources and everything like that it was hilarious and the guy deleted every one of his tweets and then just fucking went back to his corner and uh, basically just acted like a little biatch. And that's just the way that those guys work. That's just the way it is. So first off, why are you going after this guy in the first place? He doesn't, he's not writing for a publication. He's just saying stuff that he heard. Who knows if it's true? He's not sitting there going, this is iron glad. He definitely isn't. He said right there in that tweet, he says, so, I mean, it's not really news. And as I said, it's more scuttlebutt. But if it puts some at ease, fair enough, we'll all find out when we see it. He was totally reasonable, and that asshole over there had to come and just jump on him and just start, blah, you know, it was, it was nuts. He was going crazy, and then he deleted all his tweets. 
like a little pussy. I mean, it's just this just shows you those guys' integrity right there. You know, integrity is always strong with me. I love that word, and I love trying to use it. Trying to, let's be honest as possible, and it, and it just shows you right there, and it just pisses me right off. And uh, I mean, who, like I said, but like I said, who knows? And he's not claiming that this is ironclad 100%. He's not, which is what you're supposed to do. Okay, and if he's wrong, I'm willing to bet that he would actually admit that he was wrong. Unlike the Batman on film, guys. That's all I'm saying. Ha! Ah! Tell you what, man, it's just been like... Everybody's just, yeah, everybody's on edge right now. It's interesting. I don't know. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about all this? And like I said, his name is, uh, it's G, it's basically G-B-R-I-E-L-G-R-Y. Gabriel Gry? I don't know. Yeah. So go check that out. If you want to go check out his Twitter, see what he had to say about that. You can see all the tweets and everything. So let me know your thoughts about all that down below. What do you think about that? You know, are you hoping that that's all the case? Like I said, take it with a huge grain of salt. You can't just, just because that sounds excellent. It sounds more logical than reshooting half the movie in two plus months. I still can't, I, I don't, under, uh, it's so weird how those guys, the narcissism that these guys have, that they will just stick to that, and then they'll stick to the whole, oh, it's for PR, you know, it's just weird. Anyways, guys, yeah, let me know your thoughts about it down below. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the other channel too. Follow the, uh, follow me on the social media stuff that's right above my head, and of course I got shirts in the store, guys. All right, guys, talk to you later.